Hi everyone, thank you for having me. My name is Benia Elias and uh, I am a PhD student from Farhat Abbas University. The topic of today uh, is about the adaptive resonant controller based SOGI FLL for three phase voltage source inverters. This presentation is structured as follows. First of all, we will start by some some renewable energy statistics and second, uh, secondly, I will talk about the microgrid concept and after that we will move to the resonance controller and the proposed adaptive resonance controller approaches. All of this by presenting the simulation results and uh, finally we will uh, conclude the paper. As we can see here, in 2021, 81% of energy expansion came from renewables, which is very motivating in this area. Moreover, uh, the global renewable generation capacity passed 3 terawatt, uh, growing by more than 9% uh, in 2021, which means uh, a proportion of 3.064 gigawatt of total capacity. Uh, notice that the solar and wind were the fastest growing renewable energy technologies. Together they contributed to 88% uh, of all the renewable capacity. Here we have the, the infographic, the, uh, for some renewable energy infographics. Uh, in the left we have, uh, we can see that the, this, uh, th this area is dominated by the renewable hydropower by 39 uh, uh, 0.5% and after that uh, come the solar uh, photovoltaic system by 24.3% uh, so they are the most used uh, and, uh, and the wind energy so uh, these are the most used renewable energy technologies on the left of this uh, in the right of this uh, figure you can see that uh, the the Asian continent is dominated the growth of using uh, renewable energies uh, since 2010 and here we have the renewable energy the most used in renewable energy technologies in Algeria which is the solar photovoltaic by 61.7 percent and uh, also the global share shares of solar PV installed capacity is uh, dominated by the Asian continent as mentioned before, here we have the costs of uh, the PV projects and uh, in the in the left and the wind projects in the right. We can see we can we can uh, we can remark that uh, there is a, there is a big uh, uh, reduction in the cost of uh, of uh, projects per year. And uh, th this is uh, very motivating to to turn uh, to, to to turn or to use renewable energies. Uh, one of the most used uh, concepts to integrate renewable energies is the microgrid. Microgrid is uh, uh, is a way to connect uh, uh, loads and distributed energy resources in a small area and it has the capability of working in grid connected mode or in uh, island mode uh, the most uh, most used the control is the arch grid control as we can see it's uh, it's composed from many layer the base of this pyramid is uh, the primary control which contain the current and the voltage uh, loops where we can uh, find the PI and the PR controllers. Here we have uh, for controlling voltage and currents, uh, the proportional resonance pro controller is extremely popular. Uh, in uh, equation number one, we have the transfer function of the PR controller. Uh, it is uh, remarkable that the PR controller is. Uh, is related to the frequency of the microgrid or the grid and in the equation number two we have the the harmonic compensator 
uh, which used uh, which use used to eliminate the third and fifth and the seventh harmonics because they are the current most dominant in the spectrum. As we can see on the body plot, there is a, a big or an infinite gain at the at the nominal frequency. We change your zero steady state uh, tracking error and uh, no gain or phase shift is presented at other frequencies. Uh, the PR controller uh, has many advantages comparing to the PI controller. We can, see, we can uh, highlight that uh, it has a high capability of removing steady state error and uh, the waveforms that have the same frequency. Mm, and uh, in the three-phase system, there is no requirement for decoupling or voltage feed forward. Also, there is possibility of compensating for low-order harmonics components to meet power quality, power quality standards, as mentioned before. When the grid mic or the microgrid frequency uh, uh, is at uh, its nominal value, everything is good. But when when the grid or the microgrid frequency fluctuates, fluctuates. Uh, the performance of uh, this letter or the, the resonance controller uh, uh, is diminished and uh, this needs to be uh, solved. Here we have the proposed adaptive resonance controller. They appear, uh, uh, as we can see, the SOGI FLL uh, provide provides an estimation of the grid or the microwave frequency for the appear. This letter uh, adapts its, itself to resonate at this frequency. Here we have the two blocks of the SOGI FLL and the appear uh, with the equation used to implement uh, the, the adaptive resonance controller. And uh, here we have the standard uh, SOGI FLL structure. Uh, these are the simulation results of uh, the developed SOGI FLL uh, compared to the SOGI PLL uh, presented in, uh, in another reference. As we can see, the developed SOGI FLL has a smooth transition response without any undershoot uh, for the frequency and uh, more, uh, also it has more accuracy in case of voltage estimation. Uh, this figure represents the frequency estimation using the SOGI FLL block, which is directly used by the resonance controller uh, in order to ob obtain the adapti adaptiveness uh, to the grid frequency. As it can be seen, the SOGI FLL presents a fast transit response and it offers smooth dynamic behavior. The step starts at 0 0.5 and ended at 1 second. During this, during, during this step, uh, this fig figure B, figure 12B, shows uh, the estimated voltage amplitude with the high accuracy and with the, that uh, small perturbation observable at the frequency step, but it has no impact on the stability of the SOGI FLL. Uh, figure 8C uh, presents the injected current during the frequency variation using uh, only a conventional PR. It may be noticed the existence of a reduction in the injected current with the presence uh, of steady state error. However, in the figure 8, in the figure 12E, which is the case of using the uh, proposed adaptive resonance regulator, there is no steady state error in the regulated current and the frequency step has no impact on the current, which confirms that the proposed controller is adequate to regulate the current during such scenarios. Uh, in the conclusion, we can say that uh, a new approach based on adaptive uh, proportional resonance controller was successfully designed, and the APR resonance controller can be adaptive, adapt adaptively tuned with the grid or the microgrid frequency. The current regulation is relatively insensitive to frequency variation around the resonance frequency. Thus, it's a good choice for microgrids. The standard SOGI FRL small signal modeling and systematic design methodology for determining control parameters were described. 
and uh, finally thank you uh, for uh, the attention now if you have uh, any question uh, in, in, if you have any question you would like to ask uh, I'd be happy to answer them thank you